How well do you sleep? If you have trouble falling asleep because you can't stop ruminating or because noise is keeping you awake, the Cocoon sleep headphones could bring relief. The combination of a comfortable design, active noise cancelling, sleep sensing and an app with soothing sounds and meditations promise a sound slumber. But can you count on the Cocoon or will you be counting sheep? This is Tina Sieber from MakeUseOf.com and I'll give you a sobering rundown of what you can and can't expect from the Cocoon Sleep Headphones. The Cocoon Sleep Headphones come with a carrying case, a micro USB cable, a standard 3.5mm audio cable, a night mask as well as instruction manual and a welcome card. The headphones themselves are refreshingly easy to operate with two buttons, a power button on the left and an active button on the right side. You can control pairing, playback and turn the active noise cancelling on or off. You can control the volume using the headphones. Now, let's talk about sound. And that's where I have to break the first bad news to you. No matter how comfy these headphones feel or how lovely they look, you will not want to use them for listening to music. The highs and lows are flat, the bass is missing completely, and the overall sound is bland. Fortunately, the Cocoon have an entirely different purpose. The unexciting sound may even enhance the soothing effect of relaxing audio tracks. To help block out external distractions, the Cocoon come with active noise cancelling and it's turned on by default. The sample unit I received featured a static buzz, which vanished when I turned the active noise cancelling off. So I reached out to Cocoon support to find out whether that's normal and they speculated that the device contained a higher than normal fuzz unit. So that's just something to keep in mind. But since the static bus essentially resembles white noise, I didn't consider that problematic. So let's discuss the noise cancelling. It's okay, but it's not too impressive. Despite its solid and well padded ear cups, the Cocoon's passive noise cancelling couldn't compete with my ultra light pair of Sennheiser travel headphones. As a result of that, the active noise cancelling also couldn't keep up with the Sennheisers. But it definitely worked. Not least because of the static buzz which adds to the noise cancelling. Now, what you really want to do with these headphones, it's not listening to music, it's relaxing or falling asleep. So your prime concern should be comfort. Wrap the natural fiber fabrics with silicon ear cups and removable and thus washable fabric ear cushions. The Cocoon Sleep headphones offer quite a bit of comfort. And I did think they were comfortable until I tried to sleep with them. I'm a side sleeper and Although the ear cups are flat and well padded, I found it almost impossible to fall or stay asleep. That said, if you sleep on your back or front, or if you want to use these headphones for traveling or meditating, so while you're sitting up, they might still do the job. Cocoon recommends to treat using these headphones like a new habit. They say you should give yourself at least 10 nights to get used to your headphones. So if your sleep isn't bad to start with, you might fight that quite hard. Personally, I struggled to get myself to sacrifice even more sleep after the first few attempts. It took me four nights to accumulate enough data for a sleep analysis, and my sleep was utterly destroyed each time. So when I finally had one session of over two and a half hours, um, that's according to the app, I was ready to give up. So let's talk about the app. The sleep analysis happens in the Cocoon app, and that's really where all the magic happens and you'll need at least two and a half hours of data for a full analysis. In the app's My Audio Library, you'll find a large selection of free audio tracks to help you relax and fall asleep. You can choose from music, soundscapes, noises, and guided sleep or relaxation programs. I do recommend that you take some time to listen to the Welcome to Cocoon program, which will introduce you to how the headphones work, and it'll also take you through a few relaxation techniques like the body scan or guided imagery. Know that you don't need the Cocoon headphones to use the app. The app is completely free and works with any headphones. The sleep tracking features, of course, only work with your Cocoons. So, as you're using your Cocoon headphones with the app, the sensors in the headphones will start recording data. The sensors include EEG brainwave sensing, motion sensing, and disturbance sensing. The EEG brainwave and motion sensing sensors help Cocoon understand which sleep state you're in. Disturbance sensing ensures outside noise won't wake you up. To drown out disturbing external sounds like a snoring partner, the headphones will introduce white noise as you're falling asleep. 
The sensors can only work properly if they're in close contact with your ears. So hair stuck between your ears and the sensors can impact their precision. Unfortunately, the sleep tracking is where this product fell completely apart for me. Not only did I have an incredibly hard time falling and staying asleep while wearing the headphones, when I finally produced a long enough session, the data was full of errors. So let's look at some examples. Um, in one case, Cocoon scored my sleep onset at 10 out of 10 and recorded me as being asleep for a period, even though I was wide awake. Several of the sleep states displayed on the app didn't correlate with my memory. While supposedly in REM or light sleep later that night, I remember being awake and checking the time. So unfortunately, these issues were reproducible. Worse, although I had set the headphones to pause audio five minutes and turn off 15 minutes after taking them off, they kept playing audio for over an hour after I took them off. What can I say? It just didn't work. So let me summarize what I liked about the Cocoon sleep headphones. They feature quality material and a unique design. They're generally comfortable, easy to operate, and they pack unique features. Sound and ANC are subpar, but good enough to fall asleep to. Unfortunately, I have no confidence in the sleep tracking feature at all, and that's core to this product. Trying to use the cocoons at night was a disaster. The headphones stopped being comfortable when I rolled on the side, and they hurt my ears, ruined my sleep, and the sleep tracking just was completely off. However, those of you sleeping on your front, back, or sitting up while traveling may get better results. If you're not sure whether sleep-inducing sounds, guided meditation, or the likes will help you relax or fall asleep, just try out the app. It's free and works with any headphones. If you're a side sleeper or prone to moving around during your sleep, well, in that case, I'd strongly discourage you from investing in the Cocoon sleep headphones. Likewise, if your aim to use these headphones is to listen to music, just don't. If you're an audiophile, you'll hate the sound. Even if your sleep position is compatible with headphones, know that accurate sleep tracking is notoriously difficult. So for better results, I'd actually recommend using a more reliable system, like a fitness tracker watch with sensors touching your wrist. For example, the Fitbit Charge 4 features a heart rate monitor and can also track your sleep based on how much you move. And on top of that, it's less expensive than the Cocoon. So while I can't recommend buying the Cocoon, uh, you can still win a free unit. For more details on the headphones and on how to enter our giveaway, just visit the full review on makeuseof.com and it's linked in the description below. And that's it. Thanks um, for watching and please subscribe to our channel if you want to catch the next review.